You know, one thing I forgot to talk about was actually bringing in that parametric capability into this uh, project environment. So I'm going to go back a step, grab one of these guys and hit Edit Family, come back into my model, and I've got my outside extrusion and my inside extrusion. What I need to do now is actually link those parameters into this model. So I'm going to hit Edit Type, and I'm going to click this little button here. I'm going to add parameter, and I'm adding this parameter now into the adaptive component family. I'm sort of I'm sort of linking it, linking the nested parameter through this adaptive component. So I'm going to call this Mullion D. Hit OK, OK, and do add parameter Mullion W for Mullion width, and hit OK. And um, the thickness I'm going to leave uh, on its own because the thickness I want to stay constant. So hit OK. And I'll grab this extrusion, edit its type, and link the same parameters. Actually, I could link the thickness right here because this is really the thing that's driving it. The zero is always going to stay zero. So I'll make this add parameter. Boolean thickness. And I'll load it into my project. I'll overwrite my existing values. And now I've got some control of this. So if I come down into my project browser and I go into my families, into generic models, and I open this guy up, now I should be able to control these. So let's make it super deep, two feet. And I'll make it a six inch mullion. Let's see if it explodes. Whoa, didn't like that. Something went wrong. Let's cancel out of that. Let's get a little less aggressive. Go 14 inches. Oh, I see, I, I said six feet instead of six inches. Let me do that again. It's always interesting to make mistakes in Revit and see how it explodes, but I'll go two feet, six inches, apply. Yeah, so that worked. So these guys did get fatter, and they didn't explode, so again, I'll tab into one of these guys and zoom down in on it. And you see it's still sort of cockeyed because this, this wall happens to be warped. The other one's not, so they actually map onto one another. And, uh, and actually, let's change the thickness now while we're playing with this. We'll come in, change the thickness to one half inch. Apply it. You can see it take shape. Go back to a 12 inch mullion. Maybe make this four inches wide. So that's cool.